Hi, I'm attorney Peter Jancy from Crew Jancy Law Firm. We specialize in representing victims of child sexual abuse, and we've represented hundreds of men and are representing hundreds of men in their claims against the Boy Scouts of America related to sexual abuse that they suffered in the organization. Today we're talking about some topics related to the breaking news that the Boy Scouts of America have filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Now, a lot of people are wondering what happens next. Now that they've initiated a bankruptcy proceeding, what happens next in that process? Well, early on, we expect that the federal bankruptcy court will issue a stay, and that stay will mean a pause on all litigation, all cases, lawsuits that have been brought against the Boy Scouts to date around the United States. And the, the goal of that and the purpose of the bankruptcy process is to bring all of the people who have claimed for compensation against the Boy Scouts into one process, one Chapter 11 reorganization process. And ultimately, the court is going to try to, uh, is going to use this process to move all interested parties towards a plan of reorganization that will say how the Boy Scouts have to compensate people including how do they have to compensate victims of sexual abuse in scouting. There are a number of players that are potentially uh, at issue in this type of bankruptcy, not only the victims, um, but also other entities that may have an obligation to contribute to uh, the settlement um, or the compensation for victims of abuse. That includes liability insurance companies, who insured the Boy Scouts over the years, who arguably have uh, an obligation to compensate on some of these claims. Also, uh, local councils of the Boy Scouts of America, which are their local chapters, who also were involved in supervising and selecting scout leaders um, who abused boys. And then there may be a discussion about the role of sponsoring organizations uh, that worked hand-in-hand uh, hand with the Boy Scouts in sponsoring Boy Scout troops. That could include the Catholic Church, it could include the Mormon or LDS Church, uh, it could include other civic organizations who sponsored large numbers of uh, Boy Scout troops around the country. So all of those are questions that will have to be decided in this bankruptcy. Early on, we know that the, um, the bankruptcy court, through its administrators, will form what is called a uh, unsecured creditors committee. And more specifically, we believe that they will form a committee of uh, tort claimants. And by tort claimants, what we mean is people who were injured by the negligence or other bad conduct of the Boy Scouts. And that tort committee will be made up of survivors of sexual abuse who were abused in the Boy Scouts of America. So. That process, we believe, will happen relatively soon, and then the bankruptcy proceedings will continue from there. 